How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to download Zscaler on all three different platforms. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually download Zscaler on your mobile phones, let's say that you guys were on Android, then if you were, then you would have to visit the Google Play Store to download it. It's pretty straightforward. And if you're on Android, iOS, oh, okay, I said that wrong. If you're on iOS or Apple, then you would have to go to the App Store. Pretty simple, right? So all you have to do uh, for these two methods is to open up the corresponding stores. So Google Play Store for Android and iTunes Store or App Store uh, App Store for iOS and look for Zscaler Client Connector. This is what you have to look for exactly. And when you do, all you have to do is uh, click install or rather download and then it will, uh, it will automatically install onto your uh, mobile devices. And that's it. Now, as for the other platforms such as uh, Windows or uh, Linux or Mac OS, it's actually a bit of a different story. So what you guys would need is if you were on um, desktop devices such as Windows or Linux or I, um, Mac OS, you would need to download something called BlueStacks or honestly any um, Android or uh, iOS emulator should work. So assuming that you have BlueStacks, um, all you have to do is download BlueStacks or even something like uh, LD Player will work. In fact, I think LD Player is the preferred choice if you're in Windows. So to show you guys what I mean, this is what it looks like. Basically what this is, is an Android emulator for your PC. So what you, uh, what you have to do here is uh, click on download or the same goes for BlueStacks and it would uh, bring up a window that functions like an Android device. So once you're there, once you've opened LD Player or BlueStacks, all you have to do is um, open the Google Play Store and download Zscaler from there. Now, once you've downloaded the installer, you basically want to run it. And to show you guys what I mean, here's what the here's a little quick look on the interface, what it looks like. And yeah, that'd be it. So if you guys were on um, something like an Apple device, or iOS, I should say, you would have to use a different emulator for uh, for this to work. I believe um, iOS uses a number of emulators uh, meant only for uh, Windows. So a couple of them are actually um, Appetize.io, Test Sigma, Eclipse, Smartface, Corellium, and Samarin. Now, um, these steps should re remain the same. Uh, you should be able to uh, access the store and simply download uh, Zscaler from there. And yeah, there you guys have it. That's how you install Zscaler on your PC. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know that in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guys like these daily. So if you want to show your support to that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.